www.thepodcaster.com It's episode 2598 and I've got with me here the Hobbit, the blind packs, yeah, some sort of surprise packs. Um, I've got five of them, so I hope for awesome figurines. So here are all the characters, alright, from the film of course, from the movie. Mini figure. So yeah, I think let's straight rip it apart. Uh, is there a spot where I do it? I, do it like this way. I think we need a scissor. All right, here we go. It's a hobbit. And it's just some sort of flyer. And it's a figurine. <laughs> and the first guy I got is directly Gollum. Yeah, the, the mental freak. Yeah, Gollum. So, yes, yeah, this, this is not metal, it's plastic, which looks like metal. I'm, I'm disappointed. Like on the pictures on the internet, I was thinking it's like proper bronze figurines, but it's not, it's plastic. <laughs> so, I'm so easy to, yeah, to trick. And Gollum looks more like a skeleton, doesn't he? Okay, very, yeah, he's very slim. <laughs> so, the next bag, let's do it. So, I'm hoping, of course, for the Hobbit, don't I? Or Gandalf, or somebody like this. So, the second I got is somebody called Bilbo Reggins. And isn't Bilbo actually the, the Hobbit? He's a hobbit, definitely. And what happened to his arm? Um, is his arm still inside the bag? Is it meant to be to look like this? So let's search his arm. Yeah, and his arm is inside the bag. Come out, please. Um, so the arm won't come out, come out. Ah, he is holding a sword, a super mini sword. All right, so let's put this on as well. Of course, the quality here is far better than with the Kinder Surprise X figurines uh, because it's like dedicated stuff. So here comes his little knife. You can't really go to battle with this, can't you? So next bag, please. Yeah, have you watched the movie? Um, so who's this? This is some sort of hungry hunter or something. Or what's he doing? I don't know. So let's get his socket. Everybody has a socket. So it's a Torin Oakenshield. Torin Oaken. Nice name, Oakenshield. Yep. Yeah, everything is gummy, <laughs> plastic, and nice detail. I think very nice detail figurines. Um, I sort of bought them on discount. It cost me approximately um, three euros per pack. And this is a kind of funny story. Here it says a unit cost thirty nine cents, um, but actually uh, the postage is very high. So it's sort of a, yeah, a trick, a calculation trick. You pay basically the postage. Yeah. So here you go, next bag. And as more as you buy, the postage goes up. So, ah, this is unfortunate. The Hobbit guy again. Bilbo Baggins again. So we can start trading if you have this as well. And these uh, figurines stink like plastic. Like, you know. What nice detail. So, yeah, one bag is left. Let's hope for the best guys. Let's hope for a sorcerer. So, what is this orc? Nice. And he's also very thin. We need to eat more, guys. So, and this is um, 
Grinner the Goblin. It's not an orc, it's a goblin. So I know nothing, basically. Okay, and his... Um, he hasn't even got a sword, he got just a little knife. <laughs> he got a little kitchen knife. And he can fight now. They can fight now. Yeah, putting them up. Um... Alright, so here they are again. Um... Yeah, I think I fight in the end, I think. Um... And I think the colors mean something. This is a silver. I think this golem is even like golden. Can you see it? The color is a little bit different. The golem is really the important character, isn't it? He... Yep. Yeah, what do you think about this? Have you collected this? Are you a big Lord of the Rings fan? That's not Lord of the Rings, it's a Hobbit. Are you a big GGR Toy King fan? I don't know. So now fight. Who is fighting against who? Is this the evil guy? I'm not quite sure whether he's evil or not. I haven't seen the movie. But his plate, his plate is not straight. So I think these two guys must fight against all these. I can show you the flyer. Maybe the flyer says something evil or not evil. Same, same, same. Here's the collector's guy. Yeah, I wanted to have Gandalf. I've paid to get Gandalf in the even multiple versions of Gandalf, a bronzed one, ah, from everything, so now I get it. From everything there's a bronzed, a silver and a golden version, even from Gollum. So this is a cheap trick to get a lot of figurines. So, okay. Tauriel, who's Tauriel? Philly the Dwarf. So, and how do I know whether Tolkien Oakenshield is evil or not? Hmm. So, these two guys have to fight against these three ones. I... So, let's do it. I think it's this battle first. Gollum is dead. Okay, now second round, the goblin, and now um, of course Thorin, <laughs> ridiculous isn't it? Yeah, do you play? I think these figurines are not meant to be played, just to look at them. We are kind of unfortunate, but let's do it anyway. So this guy is and of course I think must have yeah in my movies the evil side wins Torin wins last survivor okay and they are all dead okay I think I <laughs> really have to watch the film isn't there is this an also like a three parts like the original one but I have just uh, read it got not so great reviews um, it's like the back side, the hobbit.com. New Line Cinema, MGM, Vivid. Vivid Consumer Services, UK only. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm making now a German summary of this here. Gut, das sind jetzt The Hobbit. Uh, ja, Wundertüten. Das nennt sich um, Blind Pack. Ja, das gibt es ja auch vor allem mögliche von Philly und Lego. Also es ist sozusagen ein Überraschungsstuff, aber ohne was zu essen. Genau. Und fünf Tütchen habe ich hier pro Tüte. Hat 3 Euro gekostet. Ist so ein bisschen lustig. Äh, eigentlich hat es nur 39 Cent pro äh, gekostet, aber die haben es irgendwie mit den Versandgebühren reingeholt. Und je mehr man kauft, desto mehr steigen die Versandgebühren. So ein Quatsch. Und auf alle Fälle gibt es dann jede Figur nochmal in Gold, Bronze und Silber. Was auch ein ziemlich... Hier kann man noch ankreuzen, ob man die hat oder was. Ne? Weil es ein ziemlich einfacher Trick ist, viele Figuren zu haben. Aber man muss schon sagen, sind, äh, ja, 
sehr detailliert. Also da kann Kinderüberraschung auf keinen Fall mithalten. Und die bestehen ja natürlich nicht. Ich dachte, ich dachte, das ist jetzt Bronzefiguren. Aber es ist einfach nur pl angesprühtes Plastik. Äh, stinkt auch ziemlich. Ja, okay, das ist nicht so krass, aber es riecht halt ein bisschen nach Plastik. So. Die Schwerter sind krumm. Krumm. Genau, und das, ich wusste nicht, ob der böse ist oder nicht. Ich habe das nicht gesehen. Thorin Oaken Shield heißt der. Genau, und das muss so eine Art ja, Jäger am Wald sein oder so sieht das mir aus. Ist das hier ein, für ein Flitzebogen? Hier hat der irgend so eine Art. Das hat mich am meisten verwirrt. Was ist das? Ein Schild? Und auf alle Fälle, ich habe wenigstens noch was in ordentlichen Typen. Ich wollte natürlich äh, Gandalf haben äh, und äh, Gollum, <lacht> ziehe ich Gollum. Und Gollum ist wirklich ziemlich schlank. Ähm, der Junge muss auf alle Fälle mal was essen. Ja, gut. Ähm, so, und dann habe ich eine Figur direkt mal doppelt gezogen. <lacht> äh, zu einem Überfuß auch noch in derselben Farbe. Und zwar... Bilbo Baggins, ist das nicht der Hobbit? Ja, Bilbo ist glaube ich der Hobbit, der ist ja der Onkel von Dings da, äh, von Frodo. Und dann habe ich noch den hier, den dachte ich erst, das wäre ein Ork. Und wie peinlich, es ist ein Goblin. Genau. Gut, habt ihr das Zeug gesammelt? Seid ihr Herr der Ringe Fans? Habt ihr vielleicht noch viel größere Figürchen von dem, von diesem Merchant? Was ich nicht verstehe, ist äh, die Farbe von Goblin. Die in seinen Bronze sieht irgendwie anders aus. Oder, oder der ist Bronze und das soll Gold sein. Das kann natürlich auch sein. Sozusagen der Unterschied zwischen Bronze und Gold. Gut. Nun ja, das war's hier mit The Hobbit. Dann soll ich mehr Merchandise von The Hobbit machen. Und ansonsten war's das. Danke, dass ihr zugesehen habt.